Hey, Bleed Big Blue, Tim for the podcast. Just wanted to come talk to you guys. It was the end of our, uh, you know, week three preseason game. The usual against the Jets. And we won the Snoopy Bowl. Was it the greatest game in the world? No, but hey, you know what? We got a W. I definitely saw some positives. I saw some negatives as well. But that's the point of this video anyway. It's the list of glory and list of shame. So, you know what? Let's get right into it. First, on my list of glory, I'm going to have to go with number one. Our, you know, our first touchdown in the game. Hunter Sharp. You just made the list. Looked good. Fun return. My thing is, uh, it's Hunter Sharp is getting this little props of list of glory, but it's also the special teams as well. Because... All preseason long in these three games, these special teams continue to make plays. And that's what excites me for the season. Because we're going to need all three units to play well so we can do well this season. And uh, they continue to make plays, whether it's uh, forcing a fumble, you know, making a big tackle, or just a, or a punt return. Which, you know, guys, hey, if we can get somebody that's returning on the regular, awesome. So, props to you, Hunter Sharp, for making the list of glory. And also, a special props to special teams. You guys are doing, doing well this season. So far. Now, number two on my list of glory. Old Reliable's back. You um, just made the list. Simple fact is, guys... Eli looked good. Uh, he was comfortable. They moved him around in the pocket. Really the only reason to drive stop is people drop balls. Now, I know it's only the preseason, but from what I'm seeing, Shermer's putting Eli in places where he can take advantage of things. And, uh, that's what we want. And Eli looks look comfortable doing it. You know what, guys? I never thought I would say this, but Eli actually getting out of the pocket is actually a good thing. It actually looked like he was comfortable doing it. Instead of just sitting in the pocket, you know, waiting for it to uh, fold. You know, it keeps everybody on their toes, offense and defense. So, you know what? I'm all about it. So, Eli, props to you for making me look good and getting me excited for the season. <laughs> Welcome to the list of glory. Number three. I'm going to have to go with a guy that's pretty much been killing it all preseason. And pretty much from what I can remember, kills it every preseason. Kerry Wynn. You just made he had another list. sack yesterday. You know, not a big deal, but the fact is he's always making plays in the preseason. This is the guy, you know, you can't even question his effort because it's always there. All I want Kerry Wynn to do is bottle up all this preseason, you know, preseason pretty much defensive MVP stuff that you're doing and... I want to see that during the regular season as well. I know you make plays and you're only in spot duty here and there, but Kerry, when you keep playing like this, you know, they're going to make you have to get on the field. But props to you, Kerry, Wynn, for having another great preseason. I'm pretty sure you're making the team. So welcome to the list of glory. All right, guys, it's a list of shame. You know what? Like, it. I said before, it's hard to be negative after a win. But, not when certain things happen. Especially when uh, number one on my list happens, because it, it, it drives me insane. Number one on my list, on the list of shame, and probably number one in uh, everybody's list of shame, is uh, Jonathan Stewart. Uh, shame. Fumble. Shame. On the goal line, stopping Shame. the drive. Um, you're supposed to be reliable. You're supposed to be a veteran. I don't even think you're in the positive yardage on any part of the offense right now. 
or any part of your stats. So Jonathan Stewart, I know it's going to be a cap hit for cutting you. I don't see any way you make this team. I don't see a reason you should make this team. Now, if you can prove me wrong and you make the team and you tear it up during the regular season, good for you. I'm going to be rooting for you, but uh, I don't see it happening. I think you're at the end of your career, and uh, it might be time for us to move on. We're going to find out in a week. So, shame on you, Jonathan Stewart, for uh, <laughs> you know killing a lot of people that believed in you when you got signed and proving a lot of people right that uh when you got signed as well number two on my list is it's one person but it's not it's i'm seeing where our huge weakness is in our defense uh number two on my list is bj goodson shame the reason bj goodson's shame. on there because he got toasted shame he he was in the wrong spot when terrell Pryor caught that pass and cut right from him and went in for the touchdown. You know, not a huge, not a big deal. I mean, granted, he's a linebacker. Terrell Price is a wide receiver. Terrell Price should beat him every time. It's, my problem is I'm starting to see that the linebacking core is going to be our little Achilles heel on this defense when it comes into coverage. I know we're going to be blitzing a lot, and I know we're going to put a lot of pressure on these linebackers. And I know they're learning, so it's preseason. So you know what? Hopefully, they step it up come uh, regular season. And I know there's going to be things like during coverage, you know, coverage downs. There's going to be Ray Ray Armstrong and Al Goldtree out there. And I know B.J. Goodson's not necessarily known for his uh, pass coverage anyway. But you know, I'm just seeing the weakness. I'm hoping uh, we. We can cover it up a little bit better than uh, we have so far this preseason. But when it comes to the list of shame, BJ Goodson, sorry, but shame on you. You made the list of shame. Now, number three, I'll actually give props to the intern for getting on me about this. Started looking back at the offensive line, and I see, pretty much see the same person likes to get beat. And like I said, it's still learning this new system. I understand it's pretty, people are going to make mistakes. You can't dwell on one mistake or two or anything like that. But Patrick Womeme, uh, you have not Shame. impressed me Shame. in this preseason. Now, I know you can play because I see I've seen you play in Jacksonville, and I know you can you know you definitely can run block. Um, and the way Patrick Sherman's using this offense, you're gonna be able to have to move around a lot, and you're gonna have to stay on your toes. But I want to, I want you to play better. I don't want the right side of the line to be the complete weakness. Eric Flowers, he's gonna have he's up and down. I'm still. I'm a still believer in Eric Flowers. Guys, I know I'm going to get hell for that in the comments. But I'm still a believer in Eric Flowers. He's got talent. And Patrick Woman, well, I, I know you got talent. I know you can do it as well. But uh, you need to show me more than what I've seen so far. So, shame on you, Patrick Woman, well, for uh, not playing well. Now, guys, you know, that's my list of glory and list of shame. I know you can pick a whole lot of different people when it comes to preseason because there's so many people on the field. So, hey, tell me where I went wrong. Tell me where you would go. You know, I love to hear all that. Listen to the show come Wednesdays, 10 o'clock. Hey, call in. Let's, you know, let's, uh, let's debate. I have no problem with you guys uh, telling me I'm wrong. But get excited, guys, because we're only one week away of preseason so we're finally seeing some real football seeing some giant football starters playing the whole time but I'll give a shout out to the people trying to make the team I'm rooting for you put that energy out there and uh, 
Let the best man win. I believe Big Blue. Always.